All right, let's rewind the clock to 1984, when Apple dropped the Macintosh and basically told the computing world, hold my beer. Mac OS didn't just invent the wheel, it made the wheel look sexy, intuitive, and so obvious that everyone else scrambled to copy it. From the shiny aqua days of OS X to the sleek Ventura vibes, Apple's been dropping features that Windows and Linux couldn't help but borrow. Here's the rundown on macOS's most original ideas that got everyone else playing catch-up. First up, the graphical user interface. You know, the whole desktop icons, folders, and trash can thing? Back in 84, while other PCs were stuck in command line purgatory, Apple said, nah, let's make this feel like a desk you can actually use. Drag a file to the trash. Pure genius. By 1985, Microsoft was like, ooh, shiny, and dropped Windows 1.0, basically a love letter to the Mac look. But Linux, it took until the 90s with KDE and GNOME to catch the vibe, but they all drank the same gooey Kool-Aid. Apple got sued for this look and feel thing later, but spoiler, they set the standard. Then came the dock in 2001 with OS X. No more digging through menus like a digital archaeologist. Apple slapped your apps front and center, boom, tap and go. Windows kept its clunky start menu for decades until Windows 11, in 2021, finally centered the taskbar winking at Mac OS. Linux distros like Elementary OS and Zorin, they've been cosplaying as Mac OS with their own docs for years, just to make XApp fans feel at home. Ever hit the spacebar to preview a file? That's Quick Look dropped in 2007 with Leopard. No opening apps, no waiting, just a sneak peek at your PDFs or pics. Mind-blowing. Back then, Windows users waited until 2023 for Power Toys Peak to get a taste, while Linux folks patched together Nautilus previews in the 2010s. Apple was out here making file browsing feel like magic, and everyone else was taking notes. Let's talk multi-touch gestures. In 2006, MacBooks got trackpads that understood your fingers like a best friend. Three-finger swipes to switch apps, pinch to zoom, it was like Apple turned your laptop into a dance floor. Windows caught up in 2015 with precision touchpads in Windows 10, but it was clunky at first. Linux GNOME and KDE started playing with gestures in the 2010s, but let's be real, Apple made it feel like you were conducting in orchestra. Then there's Spotlight from 2005's Tiger. Type a few letters and boom, apps, files, emails, all at your fingertips. It was like Google, but for your Mac. Windows Vista tried to keep up in 2007 with its search bar, but it was no Spotlight. Linux got Gnome Doe and KRunner, but they were basically fanfiction versions of Apple's instant search game. Now every OS has a search bar that wishes it was this slick. Oh, and Expose in 2003? Apple said, why pick one window when you can see them all? It tiled every open window like a pro interior designer. Windows 10's task view in 2015 was like, hey, we can do that too, except it took 12 years. Linux's comp is a GNOME overview, total love letters to Expose's multitasking swagger. Fast forward to 2018 and macOS Mojave brought dark mode. Suddenly your eyes weren't crying at midnight. Clean, moody, and easy on the retinas. Windows 10 added it a year later and Linux's GNOME and KDE themes jumped on the bandwagon by 2020. Apple made dark mode a vibe and everyone else followed suit like it was a dress code. And let's not forget continuity from 2014's Yosemite. Copy on your Mac, paste on your iPhone. Apple made your devices feel like one big happy family. Windows tried with your phone in 2018, but it's still playing catch up. Linux's KDE Connect is cool, but it's like the scrappy cousin trying to match Apple's seamless flex. Even the little things like Aqua's transparency in 2001 got copied. Those glossy, glass-like windows? Windows Vista's Arrow in 2007 was basically Aqua's twin with a PC haircut. Linux's Compass and GNOME Overview, same energy, just open source. Alright, that's the scoop on how macOS dropped some absolute game changers that Windows and Linux couldn't resist swiping. From the OG Macintosh vibes to Ventura's Polish Flex, Apple's been setting trends for decades. So which macOS version was your jam? Drop a comment below. Leopard's Quick Look got you hooked or are you all about Mojave's Dark Mode? And what feature had you hyped? Spotlight's Instant Magic or the Dock's Slick App Switching? Let me know what's got you nostalgic or pumped. If you're feeling this vibe, smash that like button, subscribe for more tech throwbacks, and check out my recent video on how to install macOS on your Windows computer. Thanks for chilling with me, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.